Hey guys, welcome to a new video. If you're new here, my name is April. I'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist and I talk about all things skincare, back end, front end of all things skincare. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that like button for me down below. Subscribe to the channel because we're here every week, every single week, talking about skincare. I really wanted to hop on here really quickly because most of this video will be voiceover. As you can tell from the title, it is a sunscreen video. I'll be trying a bunch of sunscreens for you guys because I know there's so much mineral sunscreen in the market right now. It's kind of ridiculous. So I wanted to just try a bunch for you guys to sort of start making summer decision on what physical mineral sunscreen to buy. I have a previous video where I talk about some of the sunscreens you guys have seen in today's video up here if you want to check it out. But I really wanted to make sure that I made one for 2022 because I know it can be overwhelming. Mineral sunscreens are really sort after right now because they, although there's not much research back in this up, it's common knowledge that most people with sensitive skin gravitate towards mineral sunscreen because they are inorganic sunscreens and they tend to not cause irritation versus chemical sunscreens that are synthetically made in the lab can cause irritation. Another misconception is that mineral sunscreens do not absorb UV rays. They reflect them, but the truth is that mineral sunscreens actually do both absorb and reflect. They actually absorb more than they reflect, just like the chemical sunscreens do. Only about 4% of UV rays is actually reflected from our skin. But the really great thing I love about mineral sunscreens though is that there's no downtime so once you apply it you're good to go out in the sun and have a great time versus the chemical counterpart where you have to wait 20 minutes before you go out in the sun for it to really get into your skin and ready to take action when you go out. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave in the comments which sunscreen you've tried. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys at the end of the video. This first one is by Cityfill and although I like the stick form sometimes it's hard you have makeup on so you're not really my favorite but i had a minimal white cast from it also it has really low zinc and titanium so you guys be the judge all right next we're gonna go into dr dennis gross this one's an spf 30 and it honestly is not great for sensitive skin after looking at the ingredient list but i like the finish of it just a little bit white cast all right next we're moving on to dr sam's this one didn't really tell me the percentage of zinc or titanium because it's a uk brand but i thought the finish is really good Okay, next is this one by Color Science, and this one is the one that changes into like a foundation. It has iron oxides to do that. Not good for sensitive or oily skin, but yeah, I didn't like it at all. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the next one. I couldn't use any more towel because it stained my towel, but the 11 sunscreen by Venice Williams is actually pretty good. It has a lot of zinc in it, no titanium, but it actually ended up looking good. Trying the tinted and then the non-tinted by La Roche Posay, the mineral was not giving. I had white cast on it, and then this the tinted was actually not too bad, but honestly, I wouldn't wear it out. Still white cast, unfortunately. All right, the Alta MD is probably a favorite. It has niacinamide, and I really like the finish, although it's not really great for oily skin, in my opinion. All right, next is this one with Kapari. It has nano zinc, and it's also not great for oily skin, unfortunately. And then this one by Everyday Humans. I love, love this one. Obs Honestly, I wear this all the time, um, but I mean, it's not good for oil and skin, but I really liked it and it has a lot of ingredients that I like. And then lastly, this one by Lather. It honestly didn't finish very well, but it's not the worst that I tried. So you guys let me know what you think about all the sunscreens. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. I hope this video has helped you make a better decision on what mineral sunscreen to get this summer. Don't forget to subscribe and join the family. We're here every week every week talking about skincare. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!